Well, hello there, Dukely here. Today I'm looking at Silent Victory. Um, this just arrived in the mail, like just now. Uh, the box is still cold from the delivery truck. I'm using my little table here today, which is tiny, because um, my big table is covered with stuff. So I'm going to open this up uh, with my my knife of the pocket variety. Come on now. I did it. Look at that. First, well, sort of first try. And um, we'll see what's in here. So this is a shrink rip slash unboxing. So there's the shrink part gone. Um, I know the quality of my camera isn't fantastic, but it's all I've got at the moment. So we'll put that there. Uh, it looks like these were supposed to be together. Let me just bring my mic down a bit. So we got some dice. Uh, a D20. And the usual from... Same thing from um, the Hunters. Anyway, we've got some people here who's... I think they're probably supposed to be in this little uh, thingy, but they've come apart. No problem. So we've got some names. Uh... Let's see. Oh, they're double-sided. Same guy. They're one side's decorated and one isn't. So, we've got... Uh, we try to put these on the screen. Um, so they have a starting location and some abilities here. Um, if I read this one, he starts with the USS Tang, Balo, Balo class. May attack at close range with... Uh, a detection roll of 12. May fire for and after appeals without a two-hit penalty. Uh, Lieutenant Commander, January 44 is the start date, and it says Pearl Harbor. And I'll just kind of flip through these for you. You can stop and attempt to read them. Don't look like it's not coming up fantastically well there on the picture, but I think you'll get the idea that there's some people here and that they do stuff. Uh, and we're back to the first one, and the other side has what looks like patrols and awards and stuff on them. Okay, so we'll put those to the side. We've got the rule book, rules of play here. Uh, I'll just have a quick look through, see how familiar it is. So that's already different. The uh, the chart, the combat chart, submarine basing, ammo markers. So yeah, this looks. Oh yeah, see all this is pretty familiar. They've cleaned up this board a little bit. It's not as uh, cumbersome looking. You've got all your awards, all the tokens and things. Let's see. In the back, uh, you've got the patrol sheet. Uh, with another photocopyable one. Let's see if I can just carefully flip. Um, so here's the optional rules. Designer's notes. Where's the, like, lists of numbers and things? They not have that in this one? It looks like they don't have that. Uh, I liked in the other one they had the, uh, list of numbers for, you know, submarines that existed at the time. Um, you get a nice pad of these. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the Dan Versen games is uh, they only give you a single sheet and you're supposed to photocopy it. I like having several um, already ready to go. So we've got another one of these little bits of paper sort of holding things together. So these are very familiar. These are, are patrol assignments, Australia boats. Um, if I can get them under there for you. Let's see. You've got the aircraft encounters, Australia boats. Uh, just running out of room here. There we go. And we'll flip it. Oop. Encounter chart. Uh, let's see if we've got anything special on here. Capital ship, a minefield. That's cool. Uh, warship, an SJ, whatever that is. Uh, warship, minefield, aircraft, two ships plus escort. So there you go. Got all the different uh, eras. Eras? All the different areas. <laughs> and the die roll modifiers, including the one for the minefield here at the bottom. 
Um, so there, that's that chart. We've got our... Ooh, I'm trying to... There we go. Sub damage uh, and repair chart. This looks about the same as the others for uh, the hunters. Nothing... I don't see anything extra. Uh, there's a radar. That's different. Because the Germans didn't really have radar for subs at the time. Uh, and you've got your your deck gun and torpedo fire chart. And a torpedo dud chart. Attack damage charts. Detection, air attack, and the sub damage. All the same, pretty much. And your rosters for ships. Which I'll bring down here. Rosters. There you go. Warship target roster. There's a whole list of targets for warships because, uh, unlike the Germans, uh, the Americans actually did shoot at destroyers and things. So, we'll see what, uh, that changes the game a little bit. Small freighter roster chart. So that's got, uh, you know, okay, here we go. Large freighter. And here on the bottom is, uh, capital ship target roster. Let's see if I can pick out any names. There's a Musashi, a Shikoku, uh, the Ziz Zikavu, Zikaku, a Shinyo, Hiyo, Kaga, Fuso, Battleship, Akagi, Nagato. There's quite a few famous ships, including the Yamashiro, the Kongo, and the Yamato. Um, assignment to new boat. This is interesting. It's a new chart. Crew advancement. Um, promotions. Okay, so this is all stuff that before you had to look in the book to get. So that's cool that they put it on an actual chart. Random events table. Nothing new about that, really. There's a wolf pack chart and a scuttling chart. Another nice thing to have on the on a chart. Um, we've got the assignments. So, uh, let's see. Marianas, Marshall, Midway, China... Empire, China Sea, Philippines, all these different ones, uh, and you're already looking at the variable escort aircraft quality. Uh, there's a thing here that says circular run. Don't know what that is. Evasive maneuvers. Okay, here we go. Now we're on to uh, the actual subs. Oh, they are still kind of bulky. I lied. Okay, come on. All right. You know what? I'm going to... All right, how about I just rip it? It's just a piece of paper, I'll just rip it. Okay, there, I've ripped it. Oh, these are nice. These are nice and thick. So we've got uh, the Agro Argonaut, uh, the Gar class, a Narwhal class, Tench class in the back there, Salmon, sa Salmon, 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 Tench class, uh, they're all double-sided. Oh yeah, there are some different ones here. Okay, so we've got the Gato class. Uh, there's the Tambor class. The Porpoise. The Gato. A Baleo. Gato again. And we're circled back around. They're very nice looking charts, and they're really nice. They're like, you know, high quality. I can feel the, the nice print on them. I've kind of got a, a bit of like a semi gloss, if that's such a thing. <laughs> semi gloss. You got your spaces for your ranks and awards. Your crew quality unit award. Your crew can be awarded units, or your crew can be awarded um, awards. <laughs> Get ready for awards. Deck gun, aircraft, anti aircraft status, decoys, torpedoes, aft and four. Your patrols are down here. This side is your damage, including crew statuses, and your import markers here. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we've got the counters, which I think is... Oh man, there's all these maps and stuff. God, there's a lot in here. Okay. So here are some counters. Uh, see if I can get them somewhat close. A bunch of them just say warship, special munitions. Uh, large freighter, large freighter, there's, uh, some of them are upside down, but these top ones are, like, the big warships and things, 
I'm running out of space for where my camera is actually placed, so sorry about that. Uh, what's on the other side? Pretty much the same thing. So this is... Uh, these are really small. These are tiny. Look at, there's my thumb. That's smaller than a regular size counter. Do I have a regular counter? Okay, so here's a, uh, a missile from uh, Apache leader compared to this mine here you can see that it's a little uh, it's a little little a little little okay um, damage markers are here on the top awards uh, there's some different size guns you've got some captains here I guess um, crew training levels torpedoes mines injury markers um, Rabbit's foot camera, uh, airman, some more ranks, flooding hit markers, passenger Pearl Harbor, an Australia marker, crew sick marker, um, some planes, uh, more crew experience markers, more damage, and a bunch of blanks, and some surfaced and day markers. So those are the counters. Um, I'll have some pictures up on my blog, which I'll link in the description, which will have actual better, like, quality pictures on them. I just gotta, I can't get this one out. It's stuck. Just throw the box. All right. Um, here's the combat mat. Looks about the same, although you notice that the, I think the highest on the other one was about a five. Now it goes all the way to seven. Your torpedo hits. This has also got the semi-gloss on. It's a little bit nicer. All these markers are the same. And your, uh, your combat order and stuff is all the same. And finally, let's see, this one's double-sided. Okay, we've got uh, some maps of North Pacific Pearl Harbor patrols. I don't know if that'll be backwards in the video. It might be. Um, so yeah, you actually have a chart I think you move on. Uh, which is cool. Instead of just sliding across the bottom, I could be wrong. I have no idea. Because um, I haven't read the rules at all. This is another one. South Pacific. This is from Australia. Australia patrols. This one's double-sided and has a, a Brisbane. This is what? This is Fremantle. And that's the Brisbane side. So there you go. That's... Um, that's Silent Victory unboxed for you. I'll have to move all that stuff later. Um, so look at my blog in the description. I'll take some nicer pictures of it. And I'll get this video up as quick as I can. And I'll post it on Board Game Geek if I can figure out how to do that. And um, yeah, do let me know what you think of this. Um, I'll be back soon after I read the rules. And maybe I'll play a round or two for you. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.